Today's cars can easily be stolen without the key. By simply programming a new key while sitting right in your car, a thief can be off in a matter of minutes. In today's video, I'll show you the best OBD lock i found that can be used to prevent this. Fracking Creations, a YouTube variety channel that touches different parts of your life. Want more videos on cars? Subscribe to the channel or check out our website. Cars have become computers on wheels, and like your computer or smartphones, they can be hacked. One way this is done on cars is through the OBD2 port. The OBD2 port is a diagnostic port that is available in cars built since 1996 and up. Mechanics and even do-it-yourselfers use this port to program the car's computer, read sensors, read trouble codes, and more. It is usually located under the dashboard on the driver's side, but sometimes on the passenger side as well. The unfortunate thing is that thieves can also use this port to steal the car. The OBD port can be used to disable the car's factory alarm, then program a new key to be used to steal the car. It's pretty easy as they can gain access to the inside of the car by breaking a small section of the window and then plugging in a small device to the OBD port to reprogram the car's computer. To make it more difficult for anyone to steal your car this way, you want to consider using an OBD lock like the OBD Saver. This lock is made of full metal construction with a unique key lock mechanism. It basically clamps around the OBD port, making it very difficult for anyone to access the OBD port. It will take a lot of time to break this off or drill it out. The main body is full aluminum, but the top plate is made of hardened steel to make it harder to drill out. It also has an anodized coating to weatherproof it. This model is for Mercedes-Benz. You get the lock mechanism, two keys, an Allen wrench, four hex screws, a key code card, and installation documents. Check out our video description below for where to buy these and also to see all the car models that are supported. Installation is very easy. Uninstall your factory OBD mount and socket. Then take the OBD saver metal mount and slide the OBD socket into it. Insert the metal mount into the original slot and screw it back in place with the original screws. Everything should be secured tight at this point. Insert the key into the lock assembly. The lock assembly then slides into the mount covering the OBD port from the sides and the top. Note that in my case, I like to face the keyhole in the direction that's hardest to access because it also makes it more difficult for someone to pick the lock. Next, the lock is secured in place by three hex screws. The screws are then protected from access by sliding the top plate over the holes and removing the key. The OBD port is now locked up good. Don't forget to keep the Allen wrench in your glove box and the OBD saver key with your car keys so that if you need to access the OBD port, you can do so easily. An example would be if you need to scan for fault codes and need to plug in a Bluetooth OBD adapter, or if you need to bring your car in for service. Check out our video on how to clear engine fault codes too. This is the best OBD lock I have found, and it's not made with any plastic components. Of course, there are other measures that can be taken to secure your OBD port, like relocating it somewhere else. But if that's not for you, then consider getting the OBD saver. Security as a whole is not just about one product or one magical solution. It's about securing your way up the weakest links and applying a layered approach. This OBD lock is only one piece of the puzzle in securing your car. In the end, it's about how much time and money the thief has available because with enough of both, anything can be stolen. More advanced thefts make use of electronics that can grab your key fob signal and code to be used to play back and unlock your doors easily. You can do a search online on YouTube or Google for Roll Jam to find out more on this. Also, check our video description below for a link to a video by CBC Marketplace where they demo this. We will also be doing a video on this topic, including what you can do to prevent this, so subscribe to our channel to get notified. If you enjoyed our video, share it with at least one person, and subscribe to help us reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Thanks for watching.